In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to create a speed ramp transition. This is where you adjust a segment of your clip by making it faster or slower in the beginning, middle, or even end. So we're going to do this on this clip you see on the screen. This comes as a request from a subscriber who is aware of speed ramp transitions and wanted to know how do you do this in PowerDirector. Let me show you. We're going to highlight the clip on track number one. It will turn a little bit bluish here. And then click on the Tools button above the timeline. From the drop down, choose Power Tools and then Video Speed in the secondary menu. This should open up your Video Speed Designer window. If for some reason it doesn't, and I'll close mine as though it didn't, you simply click on the video speed or you can widen the panel on the left a little bit you'll see a button that says speed adjustment and you can click on that and it will open up the same designer window for video speed now when we're going to make a speed ramp transition we're going to apply a speed change to only part of the clip not the entire clip I can do this anywhere in the clip, but to do so, first of all, I need to click on the Selected Range tab at the very top. This will allow me to create what's called a time shift. Now, it will start it wherever my playhead or my time indicator happens to be. We'll start out on the left because that's where our time indicator is. Now, I have two buttons that do the same function. They're called Create Time Shift. One is in the upper left, the other was in the lower left. It doesn't really matter which one you use. I'll click on the one in the lower left and we'll create a time shift. How many frames are impacted is outlined in the yellow box. I can take my left mouse and I can drag it, it's the double-headed arrow, to make the number of frames impacted fewer or less. And the duration of the unmodified frames will appear in the middle of the panel on the left. So we're going to start with maybe oh about six seconds and we'll modify that by speeding it up. You can use a, two tools in the middle of the panel to make the transition in and out of that segment more smooth. They're called ease in and ease out. And I normally recommend using them, but there's one gotcha you need to be aware of. If I've already started to speed up the video, and if I move my slider above one, both of these will normally gray out on me. Notice it happened right here. If I move back, I can use them. So under certain conditions, you will see them. Under other conditions, you will not. So oftentimes the first thing I do is I make an adjustment if I want to use these tools before I move my slider. And once you've used them, notice there's a limit as to how far you can make the adjustment. That's tied to how they're modifying the frames at the beginning and the end. So if I click on this one and do not do an ease in, I can make a much higher adjustment than I could before. So these will impact the, the amount of variation you can have in either speeding up or slowing down your video because it's calculating the frames in the entire clip. But they're nice to use if you have plenty of room. If you have a larger video, they, they allow you to smooth the action quite well. Now ease out is at the beginning and ease in is at the end, which for me is a bit counterintuitive. So we're, I'm going to use the only the ease in and we'll speed up the video to start with and then slow it down. Let's go about 10 times normal. To do that precisely, I can just type in the number and now it's 10 times normal to start with. So we'll move back to the beginning of our clip. We'll play, it's flying really fast and then it slows down to normal. If you want to start all over or remove that segment at all, you simply highlight it with a mouse, click on the trash can, and you can remove it. Likewise, I can go anywhere inside the, the video. I don't have to be at the beginning. Create another time shift. I'll do an ease in and ease out on this one. 
and this time I'll slow down this segment by about half and we'll play this and you'll see all of a sudden the action will go to half speed and then it will resume normally again. I've done my time shift. Likewise, you can do the end. We're going, let's just delete this one for now. However, you cannot move the playhead all the way to the end or you will see no time shift button. You have to move it prior to the end, create your time shift, and it will go all the way to the last frames of your video. Let's do the ease out, which will slow it down at the beginning, smooth it out a bit, and then we will all, let's slow it down about half speed, back up a bit and play. Here we're normal, and now we will slow down as we end this segment of our clip. And so you can apply a speed ramp transition one or many times in the same clip in CyberLink PowerDirector by using your video speed designer controls.